morning. So this will be a good test for the wind sock I've got around my GoPro now. It's pretty windy up here. This was our last, our last night's camp spot on this four week trip. Been driving a month now, it's a, today. It's a month today that we, that we left. Oh, what an adventure. Oh. When I get home, I'm gonna sit in front of the camera and tell you all the best bits. If you haven't got quite got a month to do the whole of Scotland, now I'll tell you the best bit so you can go straight there. Just walking up this hill to get a decent view of this, which is the North Wessex Downs. We're only like an hour and a half from my from the area where my family live. Three hours from where I live. Woo! Good way to wake up in the morning. Straight up a hill. Oh, the sun is blinding me. I probably look like an overexposed mess right now. Or I look wonderfully lit. I'll know when I have a look at this footage later. Woo! Walking up a hill and talking. Okay, so this is some kind of Roman fort, or no. <laughs> some kind of Iron Age business up here. I don't know. I did read, it, read about it last night, but... Oh, come on, let's go up these steps. Woo! Blimey. I don't know who that was, but there was somebody waving to me over there. And it's my shadow. And there's our fans. And that's my holiday. I'm gonna have to redo all this probably because it's too windy. A good test for the windsock again. That I bought off of Gadget John. Thanks, John. Woo! Okay. Just wanted to see the view up there before we set off. It is quite early actually. It's like seven o'clock. The south of England is pretty too. Just not enough mountains and locks for me now. I need that. I need mountains and locks. Maybe that should, oh. Maybe that should be the, uh, maybe that should be the uh, title for this trip. Mountains and locks. Subtitle, Wales and Scotland. Why am I talking like Jeremy Clarkson? Best trip in the world. Oh, it's windy. All right. Driving home now. I was saying to my parents a minute ago, so glad we did this trip. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime trip, I think, for us. We'll never do that trip again with each other. And that's not, that is nice. We had a great time. And I'm home. Bit of a random end to the trip, wasn't it? I've done, I did that before. I do that, I do that quite often. You film so much going, going to holiday and on your holiday, and then on the way home, just don't really film that much because it's, I don't know, it's not very exciting to me. But uh, yeah, we got home. Oh, what a trip! What a trip! Oh, I have a newfound love for Great Britain.
it's incredible. So if you want to go and visit any of the places that I went to and I showed on my channel, all the coordinates for those locations are in that particular video. So if you go to that video, click on the description and then you'll find the exact GPS coordinates for, for, for that location. So you can just copy and paste that GPS location. And uh, go and have an amazing time. It was just incredible, incredible. The you, if you go to do the NC500, you must go anti-clockwise. Start at Inverness and go anti-clockwise. It saves the best for last, in my opinion. But also the roads that in between that circle are all it's all beautiful. It's all incredible. The no whole north west side of the uh, NC500 is just amazing. So beautiful, and there's deer everywhere. And I went in peak of summer, and there was there was quite a few motorhomes and camper vans in certain places, but. At night time, you're able to stay in these amazing places and it's just peace and quiet and oh, beautiful. So I used the Park for Night app to, for that entire trip, but you can also use Wild Camping, which is another app, which is a very good app. I would recommend using that as well. But uh, a little tip for these apps, if you find a spot that you think you like, uh, go, to, go to the Google Maps and do the street view on it as well. So don't just look at the pictures that they provide. Go to the street view on Google Maps so you can go up and down the road and have a have a look around. That's how I found like some amazing places. So yeah, that's a good little tip for you. My favourite places in Scotland. <sighs> my favourite video that I made was part three, because that included my wife and my daughter and we and it had all the waterfalls on it that we went swimming in and we drove around all the locks, Loch Lochie and Loch Oi <laughs> and Loch Ness and you know Oh, that whole area is just incredible. So yeah, part three was probably my favourite video, but uh, later on, I can't remember what part it is now, five or six, where I, we see the deer and all those amazing, amazing views and mountains. So uh, I has, I'd like to give you all my best places, but the whole thing was just amazing. Oh, I feel very lucky, very lucky to have done that trip. I have a very patient wife who allowed me to go for so long. And uh, yeah, I feel very lucky to have done that with my family. Just amazing experience and uh, the memories are now forever on YouTube for me to remind myself of what, what an adventure we had. But I must go and explore Wales a bit more. I must go to Cornwall. I must just keep exploring this island because it is amazing. I had no idea how amazing it was. So you must go to Scotland, absolutely. I should be an ambassador for Scotland because I just I keep going on about how amazing it is and ever since I've been back I just I just don't stop thinking about it now so oh I want to say I want to say thank you to all the people that recognized me in Scotland or recognized the van and came over and said hello it was so surreal very strange but oh it made my day so thank you for you guys for coming to say hello also uh, my stickers I'm I'm now selling stickers anywhere in the world so if you want a sticker and you're not in the Britain that doesn't matter just uh, Click on the description below, you'll find my sticker link, and uh, yeah, I'll send a sticker off to you, wherever you are. Thank you to my family for coming with me and just sharing that amazing experience together. I feel very fortunate. I don't know how to end this series, but... So yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy my favourite moments in this montage. See you soon, bye bye.